Hello. So, I broke my arm today. Hi, judges. How you doing? Like, he's broke his arm. He's gonna have a lot of broken arm material. It's points down on originality. Yeah, broke in, uh... Like, uh, I'm not looking for any sympathy votes tonight, but, you know, I'm, I'll be a little bummed if I don't win, sure, everybody is, but I'll get over it, you know, I got a little bit, it'll, my, when I'm depressed, my arm will probably start to hurt a little bit, I got a little bit of pain pills and vodka in my house, and, uh, but on a, on a unrelated note, when a chick says that she wants every inch of you inside of her, probably shouldn't start with the arm. <laughs> and also, uh, make sure that she's talking to you. Kind of awkward. But... Oh yeah, shit. But, um... Pain pills, pain pills. <laughs> but you know, like you, you have. It really is seriously. It's just an accident, and I'm kind of feeling retarded because it could have been avoided. But you know, you live from your, learn from your mistakes, and but luckily, I can tell of you that you know, like some advice. Like maybe you should get like a stopwatch, and then take one of your roofies, and then when you wake up, you can see how long you've been out. Because you know if. You time that wrong, she'll wake up and she'll snap clothes like a bear trap on you. It's like a pit bull on his favorite chew toy. It sucks. But seriously, I was downtown. It's kind of related to arm and the vagina, but I was downtown. My friend, I nudged my friend. There's this hot chick on my ass. Like, dude, look at the bad chick. I was like, she's hot. He goes, he looks at her. He looks at me. He goes, Poof. yeah, she looks like she's been fisted. I was like, wow, like really? You can just tell. He's like, yeah, dude, just look at her. I was like, well, I can't tell, and congratulations, I think you got the worst superpower in the world. <laughs> like, you can just look at people and tell. Like, it, may, it might be the best superpower, though. Like, you wouldn't waste your time with a, a woman, right? Like, every guy here probably, you know, maybe you'll talk to a girl later tonight. And if there was, like, an absolute positive way to tell, like, if at one point in our life, She's had a fucking fist up her twat. Kind of a deal breaker for me, but that's just me. Or, you know, like if it was a superhero, that'd be like, the only superhero that no one would really be happy to see. Like, it's a bird, it's a plane. It's Superman? No, it's Fisted Detector Boy. <laughs> Fuck, dude, I just met this chick. I met her at church, there's gotta be a mistake. He goes, nope, she has been fisted. No need to thank me, it's what I do. He takes off. <laughs> Thanks, man. Fuck. Cock blocker, I guess. That tells you, the he warns you. Takes off, his theme song's playing. Fisted detector boy, he points out chicks. He tells you which ones have, set, have had piss up their clits. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of fists and vagina, is anybody Catholic here? Like, they, what, priests fuck toddlers? I'm sure there's like a, a nun somewhere that's had a fist in a 12 year old. I bet, right? I'm not gonna shit on your religion if anyone's Catholic, you can say, but I don't really care. But, like, the only thing I don't get is like if you. Go into a Catholic person's house, they have crosses all over the walls. Which is like horrible. That's what Jesus died on. Like, you're. That's a, sick, man. Like, my dad hangs himself. I'm not gonna have a noose on my wall to remind me <laughs> of him. You know, some of these crosses are very detailed. Like, you can see every. Like, some of them Jesus is on it. You can see every fucking nail. And it's got a thorn crown. And, like, oh, there's this, there's your savior, boys and girls. All his glory up there. <laughs> so you live by the gun, you die by the gun. That's what they said when Tupac died. 
It's a timeless truth, you know, Jesus was a carpenter. <laughs> You know, what if they didn't crucify him back then? What if they just like, they didn't like someone who's pushing in front of the bus? Like, oh, we can walk on water, we'll fucking walk on this shit. <laughs> I guess we'd have buses on the walls, someone with a figurine of Jesus in front. Every rapper would have like a diamond encrusted, iced out bus on their chain. Like, yo, you see that, uh, See that blood splatter on the windshield? Yo, that's rose gold, homie. <laughs> All right, um, so I was driving home and I seen a sign that said deaf child area. And I was kind of worried because I didn't know if it's like a warning to me, like is a deaf kid gonna carjack me? <laughs> What's happening? There's gonna be like a gang of deaf hoodlums throwing up all kinds of gang signs. Because they're deaf, you see. <laughs> and like, because it couldn't be something as stupid as, hey, these people can't hear the cars, so they need a sign across the road. That's retarded. Like, do you remember when you're in a field trip, like a teacher, like, okay, kids, we're crossing the road, remember this tip the rest of your life. We're gonna look straight ahead, and we're gonna listen. And then we're just going to go. <laughs> Hopefully there's only Harleys on the road that day, and not like a Prius. Those are like silent at 50 mile an hour. But you know, like, that just gives the kid legal authorization to just run amok in the streets. Like, fuck that kid. He could just jump in front of you. Dude, what are you doing? You just jumped in front of my car. He goes, hey, did you see the dynamic hole? <laughs> Alright, that's it for me. Thanks for coming out, guys.